Guys, it's travel day. And again, nowhere near packed. Well, kind of. But I really need to hurry up because the taxi is picking us up at 4.30 and literally this house is a mess. But come on, what else did you expect from me? <laughs> and I'm not just going on my own. I am going with... Hello, everyone. We're going with Liam! And the main question we all have, Liam, is are you excited to go to Florida? Very excited. And we are leaving right now. Liam's got me in stitches already. We are leaving right now and we are heading to Radisson Blue. We've got an executive lounge again with the executive room. We are mega, mega, mega excited. So, if you've not seen me before, my name is Danny Dalamore. And if you like this type of content, make sure you smash that like button. And if you haven't clicked subscribe already hit that subscribe button no oh, and oscar's here to say goodbye no oh, baby oh he's just ran away oscar <laughs> oh this is great this oh well i know when i'm not wanted anyway let's get to the radisson blue and then i'm going to give you all the details of the trip where we're staying where we're flying from who we're flying with and the theme of this series It's the end of the weekend, but I still wanna turn up. Yeah, I still wanna turn up. All I want is to go again, but you ain't picking your phone up. Why you messing my head up? Any night, any day. And guys, we have arrived at our hotel. We're staying at Radisson Blue. You may remember if you watched my series back in March, I stayed here and I got an absolute bargain. We got an absolute bargain again. Liam's got some cash back so the room price was pretty much the same as the Premier Inn and I think it was for an additional £30 we got an upgrade to the executive lounge and the executive room so we've got an executive room I'll show you our view the only issue we're having is the bed situation now I feel like I want to go downstairs and ask can we have a double bed because that is what I booked and I have checked the confirmation but I don't know, I just feel like, I feel like it'd be a bit awkward, but I feel like we should go down Liam and just ask. And if they, if they say no, they say no. The bed is massive, like Liam could be at one side and me at the other. Just to confirm, by the way, if you're new here, me and Liam are not a couple. I've got a partner, Liam's single, ready to mingle. Anyone out there looking for I'm joking. I just feel like I need to chill. Honestly, Liam, how bad was that taxi driver that brought us here? <laughs> I thought I was gonna die. Honestly. Uh, yeah, he was, uh, do you know, honestly, he was doing like 47 in a 30. And honestly, I felt like saying like, mate, you're really going fast. Like, don't worry, we haven't got a flight to catch. And then people were beeping at him. He was like swinging out. Uh, honestly, I've just had a ginger, um, you get ginger biscuits complimentary on check-in. Oh my God, I, I needed that ginger just to like really smooth me out because he was just on it. He was just going crazy, wasn't he? Anyway, I'm just going to give you a really, really quick room tour. So this is our view. So we don't have a runway view. It was too much. Last time, it was the same price for a runway view as a standard view. But here, it was like a hundred pound difference. And I said to Liam, I said, we might as well, we might as well just have the standard view. One of the main features that I love about Radisson Blue is this connecting door, like this connecting like platform that takes you straight to terminal two is honestly it's so oh my god liam sorry i've just realized we're going to florida tomorrow and i'm actually starting to get excited right sorry i need to, i need to calm down right Usa. right yeah so this connects straight to terminal two and that's literally where me and liam will walk tomorrow straight to terminal two and that's just like sorted and i've just said to liam because we've got a bit of spare time it's only 20 to 6 I do have a video coming out actually at 6 so I do need to get ready for that but other than that I think we should go and chill and just have a look in the terminal everyone has been telling us the airport like we've got our friends out there currently and they're saying how horrendous the airport's been so it would be interesting to see how bad it is down there if the security is bad or if it's all calmed down by now and I'll show you a room tour so obviously we've got the double bed situation or triple I can't wait to send a picture to Con he's gonna <laughs> literally Con said to us have you got double beds and literally he's gonna think what is going on i tell you the beds here at radisson are lovely we will go down and speak to the staff we've got a nice phone there you know liam you're using your phone bank to charge your phone why don't you just plug it into the wall 
Well, just to unpack your bag, I'll give you one. We don't have to rush out. And um, we've got a lovely, nice TV. We do have, I'll knock the light on because I think the camera might struggle here. We do have some nice coffee making facilities. There was two bourbon, it's a border, or border biscuits, but sorry, I've already ate one. You know me, guys. Don't ever leave food around me because it'll be gone in a sec. And we do have water in complimentary for our members. I'm almost certain you can sign up to become a member very easily. And as far as I'm aware, you also get discounts. I did become a member last time and I can't remember it was Con that did it for us I can't remember if we paid or not I'm sure it was free then you do get like discounts you've got tea and coffee oh we've got like proper posh coffee as well it's not like you know like the kettle in the room this is like proper coffee and then we have the bathroom and the bathroom's always nice in Radisson you've got a big shower awesome shower and we're actually taking a slow walk to terminal 2 here and basically this links from terminal from basically our hotel which is Radisson all the way to terminal 2 which is just ideal honestly I stayed in this hotel in March and I think from the moment me leaving my room to getting to Virgin's check-in desk. It was like 10 minutes, which is, yeah, just brilliant. And it doesn't cost to use this either, that's completely free. Honestly, how long have we been walking, Liam? A couple of minutes, and we are here. This is at the entrance of Terminal 2, and just around this corner is the Virgin check-in desk. Me and Liam feel quite confident because Liam was just looking at the boards on the screen so basically hang on let me go this side and then you can see Liam so on the screens in the in the check-in well, not the check-in the you know the main airport lounge yeah the airport lounge they have the screens on if what the flights are now if you're wondering why I'm going on about this basically a lot of people at the moment are saying the airports are being rammed they're understaffed security has been taking hours a couple of our friends have traveled recently and said it took them hours to get through there's only four flights between us and us checking in so there's like one flight at like 4 a.m 5 a.m half five or something like that and we're checking in at 6 a.m so we're hoping tomorrow the security touch wood you know that's wood i don't why do people do that why do people touch their forehead no it's idea. not wood it's, it's bone <laughs> anyway yeah, where does this vlog series go on? Yeah, hopefully we shouldn't have an issue, but obviously you guys will see later in this video if we do have an issue. Will we make it to Florida or not? Who knows? Hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> if not, then tune back in the next series. Nah, that didn't go anywhere. Sorry, that was a terrible joke. Oh, right, quick outfit change. So me and Liam actually just went downstairs to the pool. It was really nice, but it was quite busy in there, so we didn't really do much filming. But now we're gonna go and head to the executive lounge. I said to Liam, obviously we went in there earlier, we just had a quick snack and then headed to the airport. But we're gonna go in there, and do you know what? Me and Liam don't drink. Like, Liam never drinks, I never drink. And we've said we're actually gonna go in and actually have a nice drink, because we deserve it. And Liam done a squeal before, because he was like, oh my God, we're going to Florida. Mm. I think this is the thing, I said this before, before to Liam, I think, tr right, so when you're booking a Florida trip, don't be worried if you're on pre-travel day, or don't feel down if you're on pre-travel day and you're not excited, because I don't think travel is, it, on paper it sounds amazing, but it's really like stressful, it really is stressful and there's a lot to think about and there's a lot to worry and the best way to think about it is everything's going to be alright regardless of what you think, even if you think everything's going to go wrong, it's going to be fine but your mind and your body is still got, going to have that anxiety and that's what we both have. Absolutely. And you felt a bit like rubbish haven't you? Yeah, yeah, just like a crap day really but yeah. it'd be but better when we're there. Don't ask us why the camera was just like that. Yeah, it's just one of them things. It's like, don't feel down if you feel bad. But anyway, we're gonna wash away our tears, or wash away our sorrows. Mm. Actually, that sounds really depressing. We're not that down. We're gonna go and have a drink. What do you drink? Pink gin, usually. Pink gin. Well, to be honest, I drink Copperberg, so. Mm. Yeah, yeah, let's go and have a drink. So we're gonna actually make a drink. So you've got loads of different drinks here. We'll have a, uh, hang on. We'll have a Diet Coke. Oh, how do you? at this side. <gasps> See, I'm, I'm being really, really naughty. I'm actually going to have a Bacardi and Coke. Who does that remind you of? Actually, my Nana loves a Bacardi and Coke. And there's a piece of cake here that is honestly staring at us, but I'm being healthy. Let's just uh, stay tuned in this in these vlogs to see how healthy I actually stay. And I made the Bacardi and Coke. And Liam's brilliant film in there. <laughs> Bless. Where it's quite, I wouldn't say it's busy in this lounge, it's quite quiet. But 
it was like everyone was staring watching Liam Phil and me <laughs> and the staff were like all standing back like watching like we're like was some like I was some sort of like professional drink maker mm -hmm. and then Liam he didn't see it because the footage was I didn't I didn't include it but Liam was saying I made the drink wrong but, yeah so tell me right so how do you right so tell me how you should wait I, I put the coke in first then the Bacardi but Liam said I did it all wrong you need to do your measurements whether so you want a single or a double then you pour that in and then you pour your coke in so there we go guys, this isn't just a travel channel, it's an educational channel as well. <laughs> and look at this view. Liam was saying he would just chill in here all day and just look at this. I think there's a plane coming out there, you can just see a plane over there. I think that's going to come out to take off in a sec. And then, oh my god, you know what, I've just realised they've still got the Thomas Cook Airlines. And if that's the Thomas Cook Airlines, yeah. that means... That yeah, it's crazy that's still there, because obviously if anyone doesn't know, um, Thomas Cook went under in 2019. Well, let's do a cheers for an amazing holiday. Let's have the best time. Let's not let anxiety is a travel day or anything get us down, even though it will. And uh, let's just enjoy. You know, you never know how long you've got in life, guys, how long you've got on this planet. So let's just enjoy for every moment we've got. And cheers to that. Hell yeah. <laughs> It wasn't depressing, that was positive. <laughs> Good morning from the Radisson Blue and Liam, it's travel day! Oh yeah. Are you excited? Yes. Are you feeling better now? A it's little bit. Well, I'm not feeling better. We've still got to get through security. We can see the queue! <laughs> to get in, you know, I was speaking to one of my friends, Robin, Watson's do Disney, and uh, she, she was here the other day and she said just like, it's going to be busy, you know, you'll be fine. And I think that's the thing, like, we know it's going to be busy, we just need to just brace it. But I thought I would quickly chat to you because I haven't told you anything about this trip. Like, you don't know anything, do you? you don't know who we're flying in with or anything. So, I'll talk you through. I'll try and do it very quickly, though, because we do need to leave. What time are we on, Liam? Is it half five? Half five. We want to be at the airport about 6 a.m. today. We just want to get there early. Usually, I wouldn't usually show up until about half six, three and a half hours before the flight. But because we can see the queue, oh yeah, I we definitely want to be there a bit earlier today. But anyway, we are flying with Virgin Atlantic. So we actually booked our flights at separate times. And believe it or not, I booked my flight eight hours before Liam, got premium and everything. And Liam rang, rang up, how many hours was it later? Eight hours later? Probably. Maybe nine hours later, Liam rang up and then paid £200 more than me for an economy seat. And basically the, the lady had just said on the phone that it's just really busy and the price is fluctuating, go up and down. So yeah, Liam paid £200 more than me and he's sitting in economy. So like, I must have rang up and got a really good deal. It must have been perfect timing. But the plan is, is when we actually get there to the airport, we are gonna see if we can get them upgraded. So we'll obviously keep you, keep you in the loop because you're happy paying the money, aren't you? As long as it's not too much. Yeah. So we're going to see how we get on. How did you find the double bed last night, Liam? Because, before you answer, they couldn't upgrade us. They couldn't switch the bed. So it's fine. We'll just leave it. But how did you find the double bed situation? It was comfy. It was just too hot in this room. Oh, don't be saying it was too hot. It's definitely the wrong choice of words when you've shared a bed. No, to be honest, it's not a double bed. It's a huge bed. We, um, we to be honest, we only slept. How many hours did we sleep? Four hours? It wasn't a lot of sleep, was it? Yeah, it was just too hot and sweaty. <laughs> Really funny actually because I rang Con because uh, Con rang me as soon as I got you and I was like Con you're not going to believe it it's a double bed he was like no I was like it bloody is and me and Liam walked in <laughs> like oh my god look like I say it, it's a massive bed and uh, you know I can confirm and it better when we're, we're when we're at all about Disney stays you did put a twin room, didn't you, at your hotel that were booked? Yeah. Good, because that's what we're going to go on to next. So we do have quite a few stays on this trip. So let's do hotel stays. So we start off at Animal... We do have multiple, by the way. We start off at Animal Kingdom Lodge, which is going to be Liam's first time. Yeah. Savannah View. We've got two nights. We've used my DVC points for that. And if you're not sure what DVC is, I'll explain later in the series. And then... And then... We're going on a bargain cruise. I shouldn't call it a bargain cruise because it makes it sound like a booze cruise. But we are going on a cruise with Royal Caribbean. Me and Liam have never been on a Royal Caribbean cruise. Guess how much we paid for this. I just won't believe it. $199 plus tax each. So I would class that as a bargain cruise. Especially like when we were looking at Universal stays beforehand and it was going to cost us like £600 for three nights. This has been cheaper to go on the cruise. So 
we're gonna have a full little mini cruise series. Then once we get off the cruise, are you coughing? Chloe's always been tested, guys. It's a negative. Oh, that's to confirm, yeah, we're negative. God, that would be a good start uh, holiday, wouldn't it? We're going. <laughs> no, yeah, and then we then we are staying at Art of Animation, which is eight nights. Is it eight, eight nights, nights at Art of Animation? And then we end the trip at Saratoga Springs. So, yeah, it's going to be good. And Liam's never stayed. Oh, my God, actually, Liam, you've never stayed at a Disney hotel. Yes, it's going to be Liam's first time experiencing Disney. I cannot wait. Yeah, the Skyliner is like the <gasps> one thing. Oh my god, I forgot I about the Skyliner. Yeah, the Skyliner art of animation. Just been on a monorail again. Oh. The monorail. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Get me there! And one of the major things that is going to be different about this series compared to others is that we have a car. And guys, I am terrified. I have never driven in another country before. Ever. Never driven in another country. Like, they, they drive on the opposite side of the road. <laughs> they don't have roundabouts. They go different sides of the roads. I honestly have so many questions. All my friends who come to Disney often, I've just literally been saying to them, guys, I'm scared. <laughs> what should I do? Now, I have been doing a lot of research and I've been looking it up and I've got a few vlogger friends that have driven out here recently and are driving out here now. And I've been asking them and they've been giving advice and I've been speaking to a lot of you guys as well. But yeah, I don't know. I just feel really unconfident, but we'll see how I get on. Obviously in this vlog, you'll see me drive, which is weird. It's hard to believe that in this video, oh God, we're going to actually yeah. get to Disney. Like, I, it's actually crazy guys. I am so, honestly, I'm so oh excited. And then lastly, the theme of this series. So for anyone who doesn't know, and if you've not watched my Disney vlogs before, we always like to have like a theme of like what the series is going to be. So we did Disney on a budget in the last series. We did Dis winging Disney. Can you wing Disney? And then in November, it was back to Disney. What's the main changes and the new things that's happened to Disney? The theme of this series is all about can you do all of the rides at Disney World and Universal in 14 days? And to be honest, we didn't pick this. My Instagram followers picked it. And I just think, oh, my Instagram followers just want me to just, just <laughs> pretty much almost pass out from heat exhaustion yeah. <laughs> and us trying to run around. To be honest, the question, I suppose the answer of the, well, not the answer. The question of this series to me would be, is 14 days enough to get Universal and Disney done? Do you reckon we'll be able to see all of Disney and Universal in 14 days? Possibly. Possibly. Quite we'll, possible. We'll find out in this series, guys. I still wanna turn up Yeah, I still wanna turn up All I want is to go again But you ain't picking your phone up Why you messing my head up? And we're gonna eat in this restaurant And look it all for you We actually have a window view Let's see if we can see our plane I don't think we can see it just yet oh, Now you know the holidays began When you've got a nice coffee mm. That's my first coffee of today. And Liam has a little bit of an announcement, don't you, Liam? Are you gonna tell people what you've just done? Upgraded to premium. He has, guys. Liam has upgraded to premium. I'm so excited. And he's sitting next to me. Oh, I was so excited, though. I'm so chuffed that he done it. So just for clarity, Liam did pay for it. We couldn't use miles or anything, so he paid for it. But he's, he's super excited. And he got it cheaper than what it would have been if you had done it beforehand. So it's always worth coming to the airport and actually like finding out how much it's gonna cost when you actually get to the airport rather than you know doing it beforehand. Obviously, if you see a really cheap deal beforehand, then obviously do it. But definitely sometimes maybe have a look and check because you can get bargains at the airport. But yeah, honestly, we are so, so relieved to be through security. Honestly, like I said before, it wasn't that bad. It was like, it looked long, but it, in in hindsight, it wasn't it wasn't anywhere as what it, what I, what I, basically it wasn't anywhere as what I'd read online. So the number one tip is arrive early, regardless, just arrive early on time, and you'll be through security in no time. Will this one try to take over me channel? <laughs> Should Liam start vlogging? He's got his camera. 
You could start vlogging. I don't keep saying that. Yeah, you should vlog, you should vlog. And breakfast has arrived. So I've gone for the scrambled egg, bacon and toast. And Liam is being all healthy. He's went for the vegetarian breakfast. He's got, oh, that, that, I tell you what, that scrambled egg looks good. It looks very chunky. And he's got a nice piece of bread there. To be honest, Liam, I'm on my uh, low carb diet. So if you want, I'll give you this bread. No, do you not want it? Oh, it's nice and soft, that bread, you know. Really nice and soft. Is it nice? What does it taste like? Scrambled egg. <laughs> well, I'm excited to tuck in. Right, let's give this, uh, let's give this breakfast a taste test. Mm. Do you know with scrambled egg, you can only do it one way. Yeah, I really don't like scrambled egg when it's like all gooey. You know, like when some people do it and it's like liquidy. Oh, I can't. I said to them before, I said, if you're doing the scrambled egg, could it please be like really well done? And these are like perfect well done. Flat. The holiday's begun, people. <laughs> and Liam has found the pins. Oh god, here first, we go. The first pin of the day. Is there any pins you would buy from here? No. No. They're quite nice though. I like the Manchester B one. They are quite nice. They are nice. Yeah. Yeah, let's stay away from the pins. Oh my god. A cute little Paddington bear. 8 99 that's oof, it's not that bad. Oh, it's so cute. This might be a very unpopular opinion, but I have never played Uno before. I think I have, like, with... Oh, Liam could buy a deck of cards, actually. I, I've never played Uno. Let me know in the comments if you've played Uno. And here is our plane. We are flying on Mademoiselle Rouge. This is the flight I flew on. I flew on this one quite a few times. Be like now for Liam. It's like kicking in. Like the excitement. Yeah. It's like he's... Now the anxiety's out the window. He knows he's going to Florida. Like... You haven't lost your passport, you haven't lost your wallet. Oh God, here we go. This is why he's panicking. Let's check, let's do a wallet check. Always do the dad checks. I'm definitely the dad checker. If like, have you got your wallet? Have you got your phone? Have you got your car keys? Actually, where are my car keys? Hopefully they're in my bag. I don't, don't need, we've got a taxi here, like, but God, I'm starting to panic now, guys. <laughs> Just to confirm, did you have your passport? Yes. Brilliant. So the world's not ended, the clouds haven't fell in, no. the sky's still there. <laughs> oh, and this is it, guys, this is it. We are number 20, I'm 20K, so that's me there, and Liam's here. But, yeah, I'll, I'll sit at the end, but you put your suitcase up and stuff, and uh, we'll chill. Oh, and this is always the best bit, the sit down, chill. Liam's got his uh, tablet, and he's, uh, he's getting all excited. Oh, God, they really let us on the plane really early, didn't they? really early it's crazy and to be honest there didn't seem to be a lot of people now we know the flight is sold out because we could see it on online but it didn't didn't seem to be a lot of people like waiting around but again it's the security we could actually Liam in a sense be on this plane for a while you know we could be sitting on here for a good a good hour before we even go anywhere because if security and people will show up at seven o'clock and there'll be traffic so it could uh, it could be a while before we go get anywhere so and our complimentary orange juices have came cheers liam he has to an amazing holiday god we're so terrible at doing cheers can i tell you we don't do it very regularly this is the menu for today for uh for the flight so we've got a mediterranean dish for starters then you've got a choice of three for mains chicken lasagna herb roasted salmon which i think i'm going to go for because since the cruise i've really got into salmon then i'm going to get the sweet potato coconut curry and then before you land you get the mile high tea but yes we are actually sitting in the bulkhead seat now i know quite a few of you guys usually ask how i managed to sit in the bulkhead because you can't book it before getting on so basically with virgin they always leave the bulkhead seats blank so you can't book them i can't i don't believe unless you ring up and then you request them so you always you have two on either side and i'm not joking every flight i've been on since november they've always just been empty so if you speak to the cabin crew and you just say oh is the bulkhead available that oh, was really accommodating and the lady said as long as it's empty get yourself away and they checked it was empty and we gave it about 20 minutes just to make sure no one got on and requested it because sometimes people might request it for you know additional needs such as leg room or they might be you know they might need that bulkhead seat obviously we don't need it it's just it's just more it's more made for the leg room but we leave it blank and then if it stays empty we're ready to take off in a sec and uh, it's empty so so we're sitting in it and with the bulkhead you get extra leg room and it's just easier for getting in and out to get the toilet which makes it which makes it so much easier especially when you sit next to me and i go to the toilet like every 10 minutes <laughs> It's the 
the end of the weekend But I still wanna turn up Yeah, I still wanna turn up All I want is to go again But you ain't picking your phone up Why you messing my head up? Any night, any day Let me take you away All I need is just saying yeah, 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 yeah Better nights, better days When you're here with me, babe Cause you're all that I crave So I wonder Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Don't hide away from me When I need you most We got love guaranteed And I have to know Say So we've been in the air now for about 30 minutes. Liam's just chilling, watching Uncharted. And I've just got a cup of tea. And do you know what? I always get the Wi-Fi on, on the flight because it just passes the time for me. Like I can just sit here, play on my phone, scroll through TikTok, listen to some music, chat to you guys on Instagram and YouTube, and just, just chill. Let me know when you're flying, what is it that you do to pass the time? I know some people like will watch movies and stuff. I honestly, I don't know what it is, but I just can never concentrate. Like I could not sit and watch a movie. Like I would love to be able to like come on a plane and either watch a movie or read a book, but I just, I can never sit and concentrate. My mind just, I've always got too much going on around us. I'm like looking out the window or people walking past. Well, food has arrived guys. And I'm gonna quickly explain this, what we've got, and then I'm gonna pass it to Liam. Ooh, Liam's got the lasagna actually and a dessert. So basically I'm on a diet. So, and I've gotta be really good this trip because my health's not, <laughs> not the best with all the sugar. So, um, so Liam's gonna have my dessert. So here you go, Liam. Cause Liam doesn't mind a couple of desserts and he's had my bread roll. And then I've actually went for the salmon for, oh sorry Liam, I've actually went for the salmon for my main. Oh now that looks right up my street. Oof. And then the starter, I couldn't tell you what it is, but I've got two because Liam's anti-pasta anti -pasta or something, I don't know that's what it's called like, but, but yeah, but this looks very nice. Right, let's give this a little bit of a taste test. Mm. I do like salmon. I re do you know what? I was a very hit and miss with salmon, and then when I went on the cruise, oh my god, I was eating salmon every night and it was so good. Some people like can't hate me eating salmon because I get salmon breath. Oh, he hates it. And then he says that the house like stinks of fish all day. But mm, it's really nice that salmon. How's your lasagna? Really good. Out of ten. Seven. Okay. Do you want to tell that the lady you're just up ahead? <laughs> And it's a tiny little bit later. Well, I say a little bit later. It's about six hours later since I uh, since I last caught the years. The flight has just been so smooth. This is actually the smoothest flight I've ever had. The, the fasten your seatbelt sign hasn't came on once. It's not been on once. We've barely hit any turbulence. It's been a really nice flight. But now I'm ready to get into Florida. And we have officially all landed. We're here. We're here. Liam, honestly, this is the first time Liam's actually smiled. No, you've been smiling all the way. But it's the first time he's actually got excited. This is like, oh. We're actually here. We're here. How easy was that flight? Really, really smooth. Anyway, we can't talk for long, right? Because we now need to go and get the car. Now my heart's racing. Liam's all excited because he's here. I've got to somehow drive us. I have done loads of research, but I've never driven in another country before, so I am very anxious and nervous, but I'm gonna be fine. But it's just so good to be here. I can't believe we're in Orlando. Uh, this is the it bit where- It feels mad. It does, doesn't it? 
Uh, yeah. And it's that noise again, guys. The bag's clicking off the floor. <laughs> My favourite noise. So we're actually looking for the Avis desk because that's where we have our car rental with. Right, we found the Alamo desk. It was dead easy, to be honest, guys. It was just literally just behind us, actually. And now we're coming out to pick the car up. We, uh, look at Liam. He's got his shades on. So we've actually prepaid for an SUV. But it's the same sort of car I drive at home, so I wanted like something similar that I drive at home. But then we've also... Oh my god, it's hot! Wow! Ooh, it's hit you! God, this is the hottest it's been for a long time. It's never been this hot for me. God, Liam's like, oh my god, <laughs> what's going on? Basically, from the plane to this point, bearing in mind we've been nattering for about 20 minutes. This took us 45 minutes to get here. Are we allowed to go here? No. We'll let these go. 45 minutes to get to this point. Dead quick. Now picking up the car. I am getting nervous now. I know I'm going to be fine, but I'm just getting nervous, you know what I mean? And this is going to be our car for two weeks. Honestly, it looks really nice. Yeah, it's nice. I'll show you inside, guys. I just done that thing where I went, I went to go in on that side, and obviously it's the wrong side of the car. But this is what it's like. Oh, it's going to be so strange driving on the left. Oh, is it? No, it's driving on the right, isn't it? Is this the left or the right? Do we drive on the left in the UK? Oh my god, this is going to be a long series. <laughs> that was so easy. Honestly, it really was. <sighs> So easy. Go on, Liam. You, Liam's gonna pack the car. I think I should probably get in the car and start getting myself all sorted and set up. And getting a bit nervous, but I'm excited. Liam's saying that he's struggling. Well, you're not struggling, but you're saying it's really hot, aren't you? Yeah, oh yeah. He's got a Beyonce fan. That's what Victoria says. Victoria uh, says the Beyonce fan. Yeah. Oh no, actually, it's not. It's not Victoria, man. It's Gary. I think it's Gary Nadam with a Beyonce fan. Anyway, let's. Uh, Moment of truth, let's get in this car, get sorted. I'm getting hot and flustered. Well guys, so far, obviously I'm not gonna look at the camera because I'm focusing on the road, but so far we're doing fine. Liam can confirm we're doing fine. I did take a wrong turn and I went through a, a random toll pass that I think I'm now gonna get a fine for because it flashed us. Obviously I'll let you know later if you know what happens with that but Liam's Liam's getting there uh, Sea World Sea World we're not going to Sea World Liam's getting uh, mega mega excited I now I know yeah I'll it's seen everything again well. yeah it's it is all exciting but it's just it's it is nerve-wracking driving mind but I'm getting used to it I'm taking my time I'm taking it slow no one's beeped us yet so it was funny I, I spoke to the staff before and I was like I'm really nervous and I, I felt like if I owned this car and I, like, I was in the car saying I'm really nervous I'd be like, are you sure you want to rent it? We're staying on. Yeah, we're staying on this thing. Liam's being my like sat-nav. We do have a sat-nav oh, in God. the car working. Wish yeah, wish him luck. <laughs> we do have a sat-nav actually in the car and it's not in an, it's not in an ideal position actually because it's quite low but 0 0.9 mile and then we're coming off but yeah, we seem to be doing all right. And we're heading to Animal Kingdom Lodge now, which I'm just mega, mega excited for. Guys, we're here. We have arrived. We oh are here. Oh my god. Well, we're not here yet. We're, we're, well, we're, we're early. We're pulling up, yeah. We, we just met up. the most loveliest uh, security guard. She called me handsome. I was like, oh, bless you. I think it was arrived. me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we, uh, the Google's definitely uh, keep, keeping us right. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Well, I hope it's keeping us right. I definitely. just need to make sure I stay in the right. The right. <laughs> That's the main thing, steering. Yeah. Right. We got to a really awkward junction before, and Liam was like, Dan, just do not turn left. Just do not turn onto the oncoming traffic. That would have ended very badly. I know, oh my god. Just top tip, just use Google Maps if you can, because yeah. the one in the car must be outdated because it was sending us to a, like a different way, a road that didn't exist. Quick tip, never click the panic button. Don't click, well, yeah. So go on, Liam, you explain the tip. Top tip. When, if you lose your car, click the panic button and it will set off that noise. Yeah, yeah. But we're going to get kicked out of Disney, we've only just arrived. Sure, make sure you take a picture of where you parked so you remember. Yeah, that's what Liam's just done. Liam's just been the, the sensible person and he's just took a picture of where our car's parked. And we've actually just took a picture of the license plate just so then when we get it to check in, good $27 a day to park at uh, one of the deluxe resorts. We're actually walking on the wrong side of the road. Uh, we need to get used to this side of the road. Yeah, we were walking on the wrong side of the road there, so we had to cross over, and Liam's just got himself really excited because he's seen a giraffe. 
<laughs> oh, Liam. Welcome to Animal Kingdom, Lord. Yeah, so guys, I don't know if I've said it in the vlogs. Honestly, sometimes I'm like, what have I filmed, what I haven't? But we are staying at Animal Kingdom Lodge, Kadani Village is where we're at right now. And we're actually staying here for two nights, which is just so dreamy we want to see mega excited this is my home resort i'm a dvc member so this is like my my home resort of where i can stay and um yeah i absolutely love being here it's just such a such a lovely place and obviously you get views like this so yeah it's nice to see like liam like really happy as well i said to liam i said well let's not get him on a dvc tour because the first thing he said to us is this is why dvc is worth it as soon as he told us we got free parking and i was like liam you can't be doing a dvc tour if he goes and does a DVC tour, he'll come out. His mum will be on the phone. <laughs> oh, guys, and we are here, honestly. We've just checked in, and oh, we've just had, like, the best check-in experience, haven't we? Yeah, honestly. Yeah, it, it, it was just amazing, wasn't it? Yeah. We, um, we'll explain when we get to the room. We'll obviously show you the room and everything, but we're actually going to go into the shop, and Liam is already going to be looking at the pins. Oh. Yeah, once he, once he gets started with these pins, that's it over. <laughs> the series is coming to an end. Look at the resort pin. It is a must buy when you come to stay on these resorts. That actually is a good pin, actually. Ooh, how much is that? Remember, we'll get a 20% discount as well. It was a 10% discount. Nine ninety nine. So you get discount. Yeah. Get two of them, so I'll get one as well. Because I've got a little pin collection at home now. Oh, so I need to. I need to do a pip up as well, though. You remember? Remember, you've just got. Yeah, you do have two weeks to buy the pins. That sounds like such a dad thing. That's not for me. Oh, is that not for you? Someone wanted it, so I might as well get it. Oh, right. So this is our room at seven five three seven. Liam can be the model and get us in and relax. But it is really, really hot, guys. It's really warm, isn't oh it? Oh my god! It is actually. It's it's. I don't want to be. Yeah, I'm actually gonna come in because it's actually really warm. Wow, I've never experienced heat there for a long time. It is so hot out there. But anyway, let's do a room tour now. Honestly, just please bear with us because I know the room's a mess. But we've just got in here. Our case have just been delivered by guest, uh, not guest services, by luggage services. The main room. So you've got some tables, chairs. This is Liam's bed. Now it's up to him, he can either sleep on the sofa like that or he can pull it out and there's a duvet set underneath. Now I've got the double bed. Um, we've got a nice big TV. Oh my God, Liam, you know what we've not done? We haven't put resort TV on. We need to put resort TV on. How on earth can we call ourselves Disney fans if we haven't even put resort TV on? Hang on. Because I'm in a studio with a. When you got DVC, you get like a studio, you get one bedroom, two bedroom. With a studio, you get like a small kitchenette here, and you get a microwave, you get a toaster, and you get a coffee machine with the Joffrey's coffees. Ooh. And we love a Joffrey's coffee here. We all. We love a Joffrey's. And Liam, you haven't even tried Joffrey's, have you? You've, yeah, Liam says not tried it right. We need to get you a Joffrey's coffee at some point because you're going to love it. And then in the bathroom, we have a sink. We've got a toilet on the left. And then on the right hand side, we've got the small bathtub with the curtain. Lovely baths in here. They are quite small, but they are they are nice. They are, uh, trust us, if I can get in them, anyone can get in them. And uh, yeah, we've got some nice H2O soaps as well. Which, Liam, you must have opened that H2O soap, have you? Yeah, I was going to say because the H2O soap's open. So if you haven't opened it, then uh, <laughs> the minute you ring downstairs. Anyway, we're coming to the end of this vlog now. So let's smoke travel day. Radisson Blue, good, all right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, good. Airport experience this morning, security. Not as bad as I thought. Yeah, right. So when we got there, honestly, it looked bad. But it actually, looks well worse than it is. But honestly, I know so many people are watching these vlogs, especially like vloggers, and and you're looking at Facebook posts and you obviously checking in with the media and sorry it's the sun in your eyes there yeah. <laughs> sorry we'll move back two seconds guys it is so warm as mm. now there right awesome. right we're in a better position now yeah when we first got the airport the security looked absolutely crazy but 90 minutes wasn't it getting through mm. 20 minutes through check-in anyway the question mm. on everyone's tongues is liam did you enjoy premium was it worth it and would you do it again yeah definitely do it again 100 percent worth it um, what was your favourite part about it? The extra room. 
Yeah, yeah that is one of the things. Out. Yeah, one of the things. Like Liam was like literally spread out. Did you just stretch? Yeah. And he was wrapped up in a duvet. <laughs> he was literally wrapped up. He look. You look very cozy, actually. Yeah. You looked very, very cozy. I mean, I didn't sleep, but you know, it and, was just nice. And the cabin crew were awesome. Me and Liam I spent thought. maybe about 20 minutes talking to this cab cabin crew, and we just had the loveliest time. We talked about everything and everything, and it's crazy, because she works for Virgin, she didn't actually know like the outside of Virgin, so she didn't really know how miles work, she didn't really know like the cost of upgrades and stuff, so I was explaining it to her. She had been working there for 27 years, like honestly, absolute hero. She's honestly amazing. It was really, really nice chatting to her. And the Virgin staff, as always, can't do enough for you. Literally can't do enough. They go, yeah, they go above and beyond. Go above and beyond. You. And can I just confirm, right, that isn't even just if you're in premium or upper class. It's the same across the board. Check-in, even the lovely lady at check-in at the check-in desk, yeah. she was really, really nice. Yeah. Honestly, the, the the Virgin staff will literally go above and beyond. And there's, honestly, I'm going to be completely honest, I'll tell you something's really, really bad. Like, we had such a terrible experience at the Radisson Blue. And I've not even spoke about it yet, but I'm going to tell you later in the vlogs. Don't want to talk about now because it'll just be a rant. No, but what I'm trying to say, guys, is I'll tell you if something was really bad. But Virgin, honestly, even at the check-in desk, obviously Liam was originally sitting in economy and he spoke the lady and she didn't even try to sell him it. She was just telling them, this is how much it's gonna cost, or you're interested. But our customer service was brilliant, we're having a good laugh, we're telling about the security queue, and we're talking about like because the Virgin desk has actually moved, which was crazy, and I'll we'll talk about that maybe later as well. But yeah, the Virgin desk was in a different place. So we couldn't go find it and we got lost and we were just laughing about that and yeah, Virgin just amazing. Come on then Liam, tell him about my driving. Were you, were, were you, were, were you pleased? Yeah. Right, would, would I pass actually. me driving test? Yeah. Well, well that's good. <laughs> no, I tell you. Yeah, well, well obviously one thing I would have passed my driving test. <laughs> uh, do you know what? No, I don't definitely not over yet. Definitely not over yet. But we're still alive and that's all that matters. <laughs> and then lastly, Corey. Corey literally right so Liam's never stayed so this is Liam's first Disney Resort stay now we're not going to ask him right now what's his first impressions we've been in here for literally half an hour but in a couple of days we're going to ask Liam is Disney Resort because Liam's obviously paid for some of the resorts as well so it'll be very interesting to find out off Liam is the Disney Resort worth the money because it's obviously sometimes sometimes not all the time but sometimes it's going to be a lot more expensive and uh I tell you, honestly, I told Corey it was his first stay. Mm. Oh. Corey was one of the receptionists, who I know quite well. He, for some reason, he always checks me. It always seems to be the same person. But anyway, literally, what was it like? It was amazing. He was just having a laugh with us, um, and then he gave us, like, free stuff. He gave him free pins. So if you're a fan of pins, you want to be speaking to Corey. Yeah. Oh, my God, show them all the cards. He gave, he gave Liam loads of cards as well. Where have you put them? He's probably lost them already. Yeah, yeah. Make conversation with them as well because if this is pixie dust, what they call pixie dust, where they gift you. Like, By the way, he didn't gift all these pins because Liam oh, has no. went crazy in the gift shop already. We've been here 10 minutes. If Lou's watching this, Lou gets what we have to put up with for Liam and the, these gift shops. <laughs> I, I, I literally, I'm like, Liam, are you sure you want to spend all this money on pins? Right, so here we go. So you got that pin. This was all gifted to him, by the way, from Corey. You got that pin. I don't know what these pins are, by the way. I'm not a pin collector. I've got a pin board, but to some years, it's not really a, a pin and board. Well, it is a pin board, but I'm not, like, the biggest collector. Then these are the key rooms you get. Um, and he gave me one of each. So we've got... Yeah, so you got them. You got... And these were all for free. Didn't pay a penny. Yeah. No, I couldn't even name all. I couldn't even name all them characters. That's how embarrassing it is for me. Yeah. Well, I know that's that right. So I now know that's Pluto because literally the amount of times I've called this Goofy is just crazy. That's Goofy. That's not Goofy, is it? That is Goofy. Oh, is that Goofy? Oh. That's that's Daisy. Daisy. Yeah, I know who Daisy is. That's Donald. And that's mini. Say, I'm a Disney fan. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, honestly, just out of this world, guys. Honestly, out of this world. We've had such an amazing travel day. But we are knackered. We are absolutely knackered. And we're actually going to head to Epcot tonight. And I know some of you watching us will be like, you're heading to Epcot tonight, really? But we are. We are heading to Epcot. It's like, it's a tradition. But, but the thing is, right, is we can't go to bed. We can't go to bed yet. We have to stay up because if we went to bed now, 
then we'll be up in a few hours and it's only like 10 o'clock in the UK so we really need to stay up until like 3, 4 in the morning in the UK time so then we get into Florida time ideally 10, 11 so the plan is now and this will all be in your next vlog is we're going to hit Epcot we're going to try and do a few rides we're going to see how it is we're going to brace this heat Liam we must put sun cream on because absolutely. it is absolutely sweltering out there and and then yeah and then we're going to do a walmart shop so in the next vlog guys you're going to have epcot and a walmart shop which i'm really really excited for i can't wait honestly and i suppose obviously we're going into the theming of this series can we do or how much can we do in disney on a two-week trip now set the liam because we've got the car I do think we're going to get a lot more done. We're going to try. I've been speaking to a lot of you guys today, actually, and a lot of you have been saying, I think you're going to get it all done. But obviously, stay tuned and let's see how much we can get done. Can we do, the question to you guys as we end this, can we do every ride in Disney World and Universal in a 14-day trip? And on that note, guys, I'm going to shoot. Thank you so much for being the nicest friends ever. Thank you so much for just being so supportive. I just want to quickly say a huge thank you to my Patreon members. Patreon members get access to early vlogs, early content, and yeah early 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 videos and things like that if you'd be interested the link is below and I just want to say a huge thank you to every single one of you guys for just being the most supportive friends ever today has been truly overwhelming he's have all been so kind to Liam he's had he's met so many of you guys on social media today he's had so many lovely DMs I've had so many lovely DMs myself and honestly you have no idea it means so much. It really, really does. We get so anxious over traveling. Travel days, you know this if you've traveled or if you're planning on traveling. It's, you get anxious. You think of the worst things. You're on the plane and, and then you think, oh my God, then you've got to go through security and y y your mind's running 100 mile an hour. And the messages that you send, honestly, make it so worthwhile. So thank you so much, guys. It really means a lot. Enjoy your days. Enjoy whatever you're doing. Thank you so much. I love you all. Honestly, it really means a lot. Bye, guys. See you soon. Bye. Liam, we are here, and look, he's taking another picture. Of How course. many pictures is this now? I don't even know. I don't know yet. <laughs> he has took so many, guys. Wow. Unbelievable.